welcome to my Floss Tube channel, Thread the Needle. We are here for my Vlogmas Day 22. We're getting very close to the end. Um, but thankfully, I have more coffee left. We are going to start with the coffee of the day. It's a good one today. It's a pretty classic flavor. Um, this is Southern Pecan. I'm re I really I really like this one. Um, I actually really enjoy a good pecan pie or um, pecan pie, however you'd like to pr pronounce it. Um, I'm really, really enjoying these videos. These coffees have just been a delight. Because, you know, why I like them is because, of course, the variety. Because, as we all know, Vani likes variety. Um, and because if you usually, if you buy different flavors of coffees, whether it's like in a coffee bag or, or, um, if you buy the coffee beans or if you buy the coffee powder, it's in a large quantity. And even if you were to buy K-cups, you have to buy a full box of the one flavor. So I really like this kind of advent calendar type thing because you really get to ch um, taste multiple different flavors but for the price of like a box of 24 or 25 I can't remember how much you can I think I have one for the 25th day but you know what I mean so it's really cool that I get to uh, experience all this different variety of flavors um yeah it's just so much fun I highly recommend it anybody who loves coffee flavored coffee or not highly recommend getting this mm. I honestly feel like oh it would be fun if they did like a I don't know, a monthly or a, a yearly something. It's just, it's just lots of fun. Okay. Uh, next up we have my wax melt. Not very many left. We've got day 22, which is right here. I mean, I should find that one quickly. Let's pop that. Oh, I like this color. Ooh, it's like a very mild sea foam green. You see that? Lovely. Okay. Let's get that out. See what design is on it. Ooh. Isn't that adorable? The little reindeer. Okay. Now, let's see. Day 22. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, I can get that. Snowflake cookie. So I'm getting like the cookie dough smell and then the snowflake. More of the cookie dough, but the snowflake, I feel like it's like um, that smell that you get when you go outside after it's like a freshly fallen snow morning, like that crisp, clean air. I like it. That's going to be a yum, delish smell in the kitchen. Okay, so uh, now we move on to the um, stitching portion of the night. Um, now, I realized in yesterday's video, I was talking all about how I was going to show you a picture of um, the ornaments that I cross-stitched for my gift exchange. And I said, oh, look, I'm going to put a picture here. And then I did it. So I'm going to do it here. I'm going to show a picture of what my ornaments came out like after I finished them, fully finished them, into ornaments. They actually came out kind of cute. I kind of like them. Mm. I hope you do too. So, um, I was tasked with stitching on London and the challenge was to finish a color across the whole page. I really enjoy this challenge. Um, it's like a sense of accomplishment. And the way that I did it was on Pattern Keeper, you can pick on a color in your list of colors and it immediately highlights all the symbols across the whole project. But if you have it zoomed in on the one page, it'll tell you where those stitches are, right? So instead of trying to find which color I want to stitch on next, I just went in order of list that they were listed in. Um, so it was great. 
I could just start at the lowest end of my floss collection and then work up my way up. So it was a way to work through it um, more efficiently, more methodically, I guess. Um, so I'm actually really happy with the progress I made on it. Filled in a lot of confetti stitches. Um, and yeah, here she is. So this is London. And I don't know, is that going to focus? So I think it's coming out really nicely. Uh, I was able to fill in more of the clock, more of this here, and I believe, I can't tell yet what's coming here, and I don't remember what the finished product looks like, but um, it was fun. The, the clock is actually coming out to be uh, really, really nice. So I'm really looking forward to working more on that this coming year. Um, yeah, it was fantastic. It's a good stitch, I have to say. I'm looking forward to uh, making more progress on this one. So next up for today, um, the challenge was between, where are we? Day 22, yes. It was between Avarice, QS, QS? No, Mini, Mini Avarice, and um, Siamese Fighting Fish. And Siamese Fighting Fish won. So I get to stitch on it again. Super excited. Let's see what the challenge is. Is uh, Stitch Only Green still in there? Because that might work for this one. Let's see. Oh, it's so sad. There's only two left. Okay. I think this is the exact same challenge that I got last time I stitched on Sammy's Fighting Fish. Not so random. Hey, you would think, you know, it would I would have no control over it, except for the times when I made the executive decision to put a challenge back in the jar, but that was just for, you know, proper reasons. But um, stitch the color with the most stitches. Almost positive that's the same challenge I got for Siamese Fighting Fish last time, but that's okay. Um, it's all good. And um, it'll be fun to pull that one out again. So I'm looking forward to it. Thank you again for joining me here on my um, my floss tube channel to kind of participate in my Christmas joy. I hope I bring you all a little bit of Christmas joy uh, because I'm really enjoying doing these uh, little videos every day and catching up with you. So thanks for coming. I can't wait to see you tomorrow. Bye everyone. Mm -hmm.